Hello everyone and welcome back to Caffeine Brain. I haven't posted in a while, it was school to start up for me and everything was very hectic, but I decided to take just a quick minute and post a new video update this game. So, let's just, uh, check this music volume real quick because that's always been too loud in every single video I post. So, and, uh, get into the game because I'm very, very, very curious to see what's going on. Uh, okay, now that's odd. I thought I had. Hold on. My game, I did not have saved. Let me check my notes. Hats are located at, um, hmm, I'm thinking police station. Let's go there. They probably know where a gang of criminals are at. Hello, Lenny. Can I talk to you about something interesting? Hey, Lenny. Hello, Kathy. Black hats. What can you tell me about the black hats? They've caused us trouble from time to time, but they've been kind of quiet lately. We put a few of their captains in the slammer over the years, but we never managed to find enough dirt on their leader. Bo Brunson. Big Bo. Do you know where I can find them? Yeah, hold on. Let me just find a map. Got it. Thanks. Oh, great. That was absolutely what I needed, Red Man. Do you know anything about a weird bald guy dressed in red around here? You're joking, right? Oh, never mind. Nah, Cappy Rain never jokes. Well, gotta go. See ya. Now I have the information I need. Let's go check out the Black Hats, where my dad used to be. Apparently. There it is. Ooh, leather coats and all that. Absolutely stunning. I smell trouble here, um, I don't know why, I just feel like... Uh -oh. Sweet bud incoming! Like hell I am, I'm nobody's property. You sure? Doesn't she look like a sweet butt? Little slut? I think she does. Ew, I don't like him. He can go away. Step off, creep. Or what? You tell your daddy on me? You'll be scraping your balls off the floor, you think? <laughs> you think I need my I need to kick your pathetic ass? You better learn quickly. So back the off. I like this one. You think I need my daddy to kick your pathetic ass? You think ass? I need my daddy to kick your pathetic ass? <laughs> oh, I love it when they play hard to get. I know. Let go of me! Get no, no shot. Uh, 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 Goodbye. Uh, <laughs> he got what he deserved. He what the got... hell's going on out here? Nothing, Prez. Just having a bit of fun with this gash here. I suggest you leash that dog of yours. <laughs> For fuck's sake, Prospect. Not again. Get the hell out of here. Sorry, boss. I'll go. Fuck. That hurt you, cunt. Wow. Sorry, boss. I'll go. That hurt you. Dang. He'll be disciplined for that. Good. He better be. I take it you're Bo? I am. And who are you, darling? Kathy Rain. Bullshit. She lives in the city with her deranged mother. No. Who are you, really? Did the Vandals send you? No. No, they didn't. I am Kathy Rain. Prove it, then. Well, oh. I would, but I left my ID back home. <laughs> That's convenient. I think I've wasted enough time with you. Uh-huh. I need to figure out some proof. I have the proof right here. The proof is in the pudding. This proof enough for you? 
I'll be damned. That's Brian's lighter, all right. Mm -hmm. Sorry about the paranoia. We've had some problems with the vandals lately. I get it. Can't be too careful. So, that's your ride out there. Corley Motors, right? 78? 76. You got the same taste as your old man. He always rolled Corleys. Probably the only thing he and I have in common. <laughs> Did you set up those mods yourself? Looks custom made for your uh, small frame. Yeah, took some time to get the measurements right. I imagine so. Girls like you don't often ride heavy bikes. I'm not most girls. Girls like me. Ain't that the truth? Most girls don't just waltz into places like this either. I guess you'd know. Anyway, I had some questions for you in the club. Go ahead then. Your old man was a good brother, so I'll indulge you for now. For now. Like, he has anything better to do. Do you know anything about what happened to Joseph Rain in 1981? No. We had our differences, me and him, but that's a horrible fate for a man. I'd rather be dead than a vegetable. So, I take it you and him didn't get along? No, I could write a book about that man. On one page, I'd praise him. On the next, I'd want to smash his skull in. He could be a real self-righteous prick when he wanted to, that's for sure. But everyone knew he was the real law around here. Truman was a tool. I respected Joseph, and he respected me. But he hated how Brian looked up to me. Joseph always blamed the club for the path Brian chose in life. Even though it was just due to him being a shitty father. What? That's bullshit. Grandpa wasn't a bad parent. Asshole. I really want to know more. You seriously thought Grandpa was a bad parent? Everybody knew about it. People just tend to forget the bad qualities of men in wheelchairs. Joseph wasn't a saint. He saw everything black and white. He was only kind to whomever he considered to be good by his narrow moral standards. Huh. The ones who wouldn't fit in that small mold didn't get any chances. None whatsoever. Interesting. I'm guessing if he were still alive, maybe I wouldn't fit into that not small, narrow mold of everything else. Do you know anything about Lily Myers? Nothing that anyone else around here couldn't tell you. Do you know who Jimmy Cochran is? No. No. Tell me, how long have you been the president of this club? Fifteen years now. Good. Then you can tell me why you stole Lily Myers' paintings from Charles Wade in 86. I don't know what the hell you're talking about, but I'd recommend you be careful with wild accusations like that. Awesome. Oh, cut the bullcrap. I killed you. Fine. Is there anything I can do for the club to earn your trust? Whatever. Be that way. I'm not sure if you heard that or if that was me or the game, but I don't know. I don't want to come on uh, aggressive though, so let's Fine. Put it this way. Is there anything I can do for the club to earn your trust? You mean like cleaning the toilets, making coffee? I think we got that covered, Cupcake. No. <laughs> Spare me your sexist bullshit. I can take care of business. <laughs> you are nothing like your old man, you know that? I take that as a compliment. You do that. In any case, I've had enough of this nonsense. Stop pushing your luck. You had enough of this nonsense, but you're still talking to me, so... Still, you have nothing better to do than to talk to me. I, I feel like it. What can you tell me about the Church of the Holy Trinity? Do I look like a pious man to you? I've peed on churches. I don't need to know that. You didn't need to tell me that. This information could have never have met my mind, and I would have been okay. What can you yeah. tell me about the Black Hats? Black Hats MC was founded in the 60s by my old man, my uncle, and two other local bikers. Conwell Springs is the mother chapter, and we have support clubs in six other locations across three states. There's a 
total of 16 members here. 12 patch, 4 prospects. I'm the acting president of this chapter as well as of the whole club. Have been for more than 15 years. The law give you any trouble? They used to be tough when your granddad was around. He and Truman ran a tight ship. And now? Now they try, but Boyd's and the boy are a nuisance at best. <laughs> this may be a weird question, but have you ever met a bald man dressed in red? I've made a few bald men red. That count? <laughs> That's not what I... Yeah, that won't get me into sure trouble at all. Them. Oh yeah, true. I don't need to show him that. Photo? Okay, hey, Bo, well. any idea of what this key opens? Key? You ask weird questions, you know that? Yeah, first... Bald man now, um, Do you know what this is? You know, whatever. Whoa. What? Do you recognize that? I saw one of those with my own eyes a few years ago. Really? Where? Middle what? of the woods. The road of the city. Those things came from nowhere and gave me this crazy headache right on the plate in my head. At the time, I thought it was just a nasty case of migraine. You have a plate in your head? Yeah, titanium from a shrapnel wound. I see. Titanium isn't the least bit magnetic, is it? How the hell should I know? I'm no scientist. Do you remember where exactly on the road it happened? No. Like I said, I dismissed it as a migraine. Didn't pay too much attention as to where it was. Fair enough. Interesting. I don't need to show him that. Do you know anything about this flower, though? Do I look like a florist to you? Yeah, a little bit. No. <laughs> Crack oh. me up, girl. <laughs> I could see it as a hard core uncle type man. But All right, I'm going to hit the road. I need no Right on. I have some business to take care of, but make yourself at home. Thanks, Bo. See you around. I will. Brian's girl. Yeah? No um, suggestion? I overheard you. I'm Emmett. Hey. The boss man isn't usually that grumpy. He's got a lot on his mind. But I think I may know of a way to loosen him up. I'm all ears, buddy. Well, Bo and Brian are the double Bs, as we used to call them. <laughs> they used to have this drink together. Brian came up with it. He called it a bloodier Mary. Hmm, sounds like my kind of drink. Yeah, it's basically a Bloody Mary, but with pig blood instead of tomato juice. I take that back. What? Gross. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's just a Bloody Mary, but with a special <laughs> ingredient added to it. If you say that special ingredient is blood, I will literally punch you. <laughs> no. Brian refused to tell anyone what it was. He only made it for special occasions. It's probably something uncommon, like a rare herb or some kind of expensive spice. So let me guess. If I can produce this drink for Bo, you think he would help me out? It'll make him remember Brian, which should go a long way. He hasn't had that drink since your old man disappeared. Brian was like a son to him. The boss would have died for him back in the day. If you could recall the good times with your father, he might change his mind. I guess it could be worth a try. Wait, why are you helping me? You're Brian's kid. That means you're family. We take care of family. Well, how was that drink compared with the regular Bloody Mary? Tasted a bit more like pepper. It had a punch to it. It usually gave some pretty nasty hangovers. Oh, if you had a lot of them, you'd hallucinate some crazy shit. Pretty wild. Trippy. Thanks. You're welcome, darling. I happen to know where I can find this secret ingredient. Um, hello, can I talk? Hey, bartender, do you happen to know how to make a bloodier Mary? You mean a bloody Mary? No, this is something different. Afraid not, I can make your regular bloody Mary, though, if you want. Maybe later. I need to figure something out. All right, then. He's the bartender here. Doesn't appear to be a club member. 
I just don't want to go outside because I don't want Emmett. to be friends with that guy. He has you know? a patch on his jacket that says vice president. A member well, of this motorcycle club. A member of this mo the I'd rather just talk yep. to their leader. Can we talk to them? Okay. I see how it is. Well, I mean, with the encounter we just have with this dude over here, I wouldn't want to talk 100% to them country music. Be still, my heart. Whew, out of order. My ears are safe. <laughs> That's the one thing I don't like. Like, I love all kinds of music, but country music is something I never really get into, no matter how much I try. You know? And I tried a couple of times. I think I know where to get this flower, though. Well, so. Looks like a specimen of the red scythe. Take it. Sorry, endangered flower, but I, yep. uh, I really need to make a drink. Yes, you do. Huh, there was a squirrel there. wonder if that's symbolism for something. I don't know. Um, I'm thinking... I don't know, where else? I haven't been... I don't know. I'm gonna go back and do what I need. I know I can do. I, I don't think I can gauge any more conversation uh, with anybody. Howdy. Impressive bar. I'm not gonna talk to him until I have my drink. Like a Bloody Mary? Coming right up. Oh, and add this, will you? Just something I like for flavor. Put it in a blender. Whatever you say. Thank you. I'm not gonna drink. One I Bloody Mary. Enjoy. It, so I'm not gonna it. Thanks, buddy. The club will cover that, Jose. Sure thing, VP. Thanks again, Emmett. You got it. It's a uh, bloodier Mary, I think. Here's hoping no, it can make no. Bo a bit more cooperative. Yeah. It's for Bo, not me. Can I drink it? Um, I had to give it a shot. Maybe just a little sip off the top, you know? You never know. Hey, Bo, I've got something for you. I recognize that smell. You found your dad's recipe. Something like that. Yeah, I have. Man, is this a trip down memory lane? I keep expecting Brian to walk in here any second. You know, all this nostalgia is making me remember how much I really owe your old man. Yeah? Yeah. So, here's the deal. In 86, Carl, my VP at the time, came to me and said he had a job lined up for the club. Some guy would offer him good dough for stealing a bunch of paintings from a mansion. He needed two brothers for the job. I was busy with other things at the time, so I gave my permission as long as the club got the usual cut. He returned a week later with a nice wad of cash. I didn't realize it was Wade he had knocked off until I read the paper. If I had known that, I'd advised against him. Wade is a powerful man with friends in city council. There's no reason to piss him off. Got it. So, what do you know about the guy who hired you for the job? Not much. Carl said it was some bearded preacher. Whoa, Isaac from the Church of the Holy Trinity? Could be. I don't know who that is. It was a priest. I know that much. Thanks, Bo. I'm gonna follow up on this right away. That's it? You're not gonna ask me about what happened to your old man? Not even curious? I couldn't give two shits about that asshole. Bullshit. Don't expect anyone to believe you're that angry with someone you don't give two shits about. Either he's dead or he abandoned me. Do any of those options look appealing to you? They don't, but you should know that no one from the club had anything to do with it. I meant it when I said Brian was a good brother. He had no enemies here. Not then, and not now. Comforting to hear, Mr. President.
Shut up and listen, girl. I'm trying to tell you something. Brian used to talk about heading to Mexico, about riding off into the sunset and getting away from all his newfound responsibilities. And I think part of him was serious. You deserve to know that there's a chance he's still out there somewhere. Sure. Let's hope that bastard is living it up somewhere. <sighs> Just take care of yourself, you hear? You too. That day went by fast. I think I'm going to ask if I can stay the night at Grandma's. Oh, wow, that's it? That's Really? That's all I have to do? Wow, okay. Let's go in here, then. I was, I was going to go to the church, confront the dude. Hello, and, sweetheart. You know, whatever. Hey, Grandma, it got kind of late. Hey, Grandma. Would it be okay if I stay the night? Of course, dear. Have a seat. I'll make you something to eat. Oh, you're the best. I'm starving. Oh, thank you. She is the best. I like her a lot. I wish she were my grandmother, I'll be honest with you. At night, Kathy dreams. Do you see? You are both what? unwanted, both discarded. Uh, wait. Good. What the hell Lick the going? flames, buddy boy. Lick the flames and feel the hatred burn. Advise you lick, licking fire. <laughs> Whoa, he was right there. Lily's painting. Hey, 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 come back. And the kid from the cemetery. It's got to mean something. Yeah, I mean. Do I. Go I should go see what Grandma is up to first. yesterday then no tell us Ugh, i hate you uh. i'm so glad you asked i looked up a few statistics for this county looking for any anomalies <laughs> first off there's a high number of missing persons reports in the area that wouldn't be too unusual if really? let's say the county had a high crime rate but it doesn't violent crimes are actually lower than in other comparable counties huh that's just outright creepy. It gets even better. It turns out that this county has the highest number of clinically insane in the state. And guess what? Conwell Springs County is tiny. Per capita, the difference to the county in second place is humongous. Over a thousand percent. That makes some sense. I found out that this cocky person is locked tight at Ingstrom's. Wow, we should go talk to him, right? He must have some answers. That's the plan. I should probably fill you in on the rest I found. And cut so, I'm gonna head over there today and confront Isaac about the paintings. 
Don't you think it's a bit risky, Kathy? It could just backfire and piss him off. Oh, I'm hoping it will. Nothing wrong with some good old provocation to make people show their true colors. You never gave him the picture of the lights, right? Nah, didn't want the guy to faint. He sounded pretty brainwashed about the Holy Trinity thing. And none of the church people know who I am, right? I guess not. So? My point is that you grilled the priest good yesterday. You already tried it your way. I'm a fellow Christian. Maybe I could try something different, like make up a cute cover story and pretend to want to join their church. If he still won't trust me, I can show him my copy of the picture. Maybe it will make him open up. I suppose it would give me enough time to drive back to the city and talk to Jimmy before it gets too late. Yay! Oh, let's do it! I'm so excited. I can't wait to lie to people. You know that's a sin, right? Oh, I'm sure <laughs> Jesus will make an exception this time. After all, he loves me. I'm not going to waste any time then. Let's catch up on the phone tonight. Okie dokie. Talk to you later. Splitting up. This is always a bad idea in horror movies, horror video games, everything horror. And I know this isn't exactly horror. It's more of a detective thing. But Hello, Jimmy. Splitting up, I've it been doesn't for sound you. good. Oh, is it for real this time? Yes, this is all very real. So you're going to ask me about Joseph now? How do you know that? Who told you? Who else? You did. Every time you came here. You're not making any sense, Jimmy. What? We've never met before. I'm making perfect sense. Everyone says so. I'm the sharpest tool in the shed. All bets are off now, are Missy. You? Better buckle up and enjoy the ride. Forget all the rules. No going from top to bottom. No checking off all the items on your list. Start by asking me the about the young chronicler. The young chronicler? Was Lily Myers the chronicler? A drowned girl, yes. She saw the loops, the endless possibilities. She found that the branches had all been severed. Nothing but inevitability remained, staring her right in the eye. In the end, she was pulled across the great threshold, just like I was. I was next. Next for what? You're not listening. I'm next. Huh? What do you know about right the man there? in red? No, that's not me. That's not my name. ask for that oh he is telling him what happened to you jimmy okay why are you in this place i'm not i'm six feet under looking up watching reruns without a care in the world you know joseph was a beacon his passing sent ripples traveling in all directions touching all of us with burning intensity in my case resulting in immobilizing guilt after all, I sent him out there. It was all my fault. What was? What did you ask him to do? Be patient. We'll get there eventually. We need to follow the rules. Let's continue, ironically, with the men who break the rules. The, the men? You mean the, the black, black hats? hats? They're the men who break the rules? Indeed. Your father broke every rule in the book, did he not? That's a mild way of putting it. I feel your pain, but you will be free of him soon enough. I've seen you atop a great pit, dropping the last remaining memento of him into the empty blackness below. Your mother, on the other hand, that's a story with a different ending. You know, Mom? How... how is she? Why don't you see her yourself? and find out. It's complicated. The last time we met was... ugly. Looking away won't make it any less ugly, Kathy. I know, just not yet. Very well. Let's go see the man you reunited with his family. Wait, who was that? I kind of want to see the mother, but... Wait, a man. The man in red? red? Is that who you're talking about? 
Yes, indeed. Who is he, really? The Collector of Souls. The one who beckons and prepares. Some call him a spirit guide. Others, a devil dressed in red. You are doing so much better than the last time. Now, ask me about the first thing you can think of. What happened to my grandfather in 81? Oh, poor Joseph. Wrong place, wrong time, wrong friends, wrong life. An unstoppable force meeting an immovable object. There had to be course correction, Kathy. The house always wins. What did you ask him to do? I asked him to find the source and destroy it. For me, for Lily, for all of us. The source of what? Everything. The madness, the betrayals, the limitless suffering. How would he do that? I don't know. Joseph had a plan. He had allies. Allies? Who? The man in red. Someone else, too. I found the message you left for Grandpa. Uh. You said, it happened to you, too. What did? Needing the lights, of course. Don't you have my picture from the night in the forest? You mean this? Uh. Oh, yes. They felt so warm. So comfortable luring me in. But when they got close, I could feel my mind split in two. I found myself with one foot on either side of the line. The thin line between hell and here. It felt like breathing through my nose with my mouth underwater. No wonder some sink beneath the surface, never to be heard from again. Was that what happened to Joseph, Jimmy? Did he sink to the bottom? I wish I knew. I'm just a man stuck with his ear up against the wall, picking up a word here and there. I am so tired, Kathy. I can feel the lights even now. Endless static in my head, like a TV tuned to a dead channel. But what are they? Where do they come from? What? The cradle of know. obscurity. Like the, TV, the, the alpha to our omega. The distorted mirror. Why are you constantly speaking in riddles? Why do you assume I have a choice? We are nearing the end. Ask me about the misguided faithful. mentioned static tuned to the dead channel and I think he put Joseph his life into like a butterfly effect type of thing and I'm thinking about like static you know with the one from the police station I don't know these are just small parts I'm pulling out right now I guess is the church the of church. the holy trinity the misguided faithful they are yes what makes you call them that isn't it obvious? They believe the lights are divine. The lights are neither divine nor unholy. They are but a twisted reflection of us. The judge and the jury are innermost child, our greatest fear. Everything we long for and desire. It's more than most of us can take. The cup runneth over. How do I stop them? You must go to their birthplace, their source. You must go to the cradle. It's the only way to save your friend. What? Are you talking about Eileen? My friend? Yes, she is being claimed. She's in great danger. You have to go back, Kathy. Yes. I need more than that, Jimmy. Yes, help! I'm thinking back to the church. I need to find Eileen. What the hell uh, is going Church? Church? Oh, I can't. Oh, that. That wasn't the church. What am I doing? Okay, the guy isn't here, so let's go in here. Locked. Uh, a 
small cabinet with a lock on it. Hello. A closet. Definitely large enough for a corpse or two. Just old furniture and boxes filled with random junk. William T. Price. So that's Father Bill. Looks more like a businessman than a cult leader. Just old furniture and boxes filled with random junk. How do you know that? Uncover it. Nothing unusual, just a schedule of typical church events. There they are again, watching my every move in this place. Wouldn't be a church without one. A closet. I have a feeling this is more than a church. Like this. Oof, no corpses, just a bunch of priest outfits in there. Nothing interesting in the pockets either. Definitely. Found a large old key in here. Hey. Perfect. No. What? Cut the bull crap. Hey! Where is she? No. Where's Eileen? What in the Lord's name are you talking about? Red-haired girl, I know she came here to see you. Tell me where she is, or I'm calling the cops. I don't think that's quite necessary. Breaking and entering, are Oh, God, we? he's here. No. You don't understand. My friend has been kidnapped. Shh. That's not... You don't understand. My friend has understand. been kidnapped. Funny story. Hands behind your back. Now! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. And I assume I had Better all hope that Father before, Price but... doesn't press charges. I want my phone call. <laughs> Can't hear you in there. You are such a fucking prick. <laughs> Enjoy your little vacation. I know I will. What an asshole. Well, this blows. I'm getting... And I smell like goober. I'm getting out of here. Fan fucking tastic. <laughs> I need to get out of here. Who knows here, what that though. freak is doing to Eileen right now? Uh, Looks like mom. the mop. Yep. Okay. Now what? Pick up the phone. Oh, I'm freaking out. That combination makes no sense. I can't reach it okay, from here. What, what do I need? Okay, so we use the mop. Not we a bad idea, but the it's just out of reach, reach, even with the mop. Uh, uh crap. Locked tight. Where's the trust? <laughs> uh, not in the front of us. Even hmm. though we're not Worth a in front shot. Of right now. Oh, okay. Oops. They didn't hear that. These paper clips might be useful. We're getting the hell Locked out. Locked tight. No, where's the paper clips? Okay, let's see if I still got it. Not perfect. Oh, come on. Kathy? Kathy, you have to have it right now. Oh, God. I'm not good at this. Oh, is it like a sequence? I'm so good. Aha! Uh -huh. What a tiny TV. I didn't know, I was just... What a tiny... Turn it on, turn it on. I saw Lenny... Okay, no. Take the evidence. Let's take it. Okay, got all my things back. The key I found in the church, too. Oh, great, that's exactly what I mean. Maybe it goes to that... Huh? The, 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 static. Jar. the TV stat. An inkier heart. Bill me, Nemesis. Uh -huh. What the hell? My same question. Nothing else in there. Okay, we got everything back. Good. Let's go. Do I go back to the church? Where do I go? God, just at the right time. Can I? 
Oh no, I can't look at the desk or anything. I just gotta get the Good heck out. Good thing the bike was still where I left Maybe it. Maybe he has it in that. Maybe he has it in that other room. Huh? It says it was locked. I could use that lock, the lockpick, just to get in there. Maybe. Combine with these. I should search the office instead. I don't think there's anything useful in here. How do you know you haven't been in there before, bro? All right, let's search, search the office then. No freaking no. Isaac's dead. Yeah, well, you Isaac's have to desk. About it. There might be. Ooh, I've searched that already. I've searched there that already. I've searched that already. Okay. Nothing unusual. Schedule, just just I old for. I wonder what the but church was like back when Father William. T just old furniture. Just old furniture. Come on, your friend is missing. Locked. Locked. Let's use. Not a bad the idea, lock. but. It's not a tumbler lock. Let's use a uh, nope, key. Not then. the right key. Books Dang on it. spirituality no, and wait, theology. Wait, Nothing unusual. A photo of a younger father Bill with two boys. Probably Isaac and his brother. Okay. Uh nothing. There's nothing. There's nothing in Let's go. I don't know where to go, though. Uh, let's just get out of here, I guess. Where would they be? Let's go to the graveyard. I haven't been there in a while. Plus, there was that thing that I didn't get to go in, so maybe they're in there. I don't freaking know. So... If they're not here, I'm just gonna go down the list. I doubt they're at my house, though. Or at the other people's houses. Locked. Let's just go in here. Locked. I don't oh, see how okay. those things work to- You don't know how a locked door and lockpick goes together? Huh? Oh, the key works here. I did what you asked, Father. I <gasps> leave! Something is different about this one. It's not taking like it should. She may be protected. Yes, we'll just have to wait By and see. By God! More souls, then. She'd... Yes, they all deserve to bask in the glory of God. Uh, that's not the right God. Hey, what's that? Eat this! Do it a couple Eileen? more times now. Oh god. It's just like grandfather. God. No. Snap out of it! Is she dead? No, god, it's happening again. Just like it did with grandpa. What did he do to you? Uh, call the police. Wait, you won't have a phone. How could you call the police the last time if you don't even have a phone? Uh, search Isaac. He had a key on him. Good. Alright. Now let's use this. He's had enough. It could kill him. Oh, and I care about let's that because... Let's get these ropes off of you. Untie and let combine rope with him. That should do it. I better go get help Perfect. before he comes to. Wake up, E. Do I just? She's catatonic. 
breathing but unresponsive, just like Grandpa. So do I just storm into the... Into the police station? All right, station? we'll take it like... from here. Oh, Should okay. we bring... What's her name? To the clinic? Eileen, and no, she's not physically hurt. It's just shock, that's all. I'll take care of her. Please, just drop us off know? at Grandma's. All right, then, but don't think you're off the hook for that stunt you pulled at the station. Considering the circumstances, I'm going to refrain from hauling your ass back to that cell. But you better not leave town until we've sorted all this out, or you can look forward to a statewide APB. Got it? That's more than fair, Sheriff. Thanks. Good. Come by the station when you've dropped off your friend. You'll need to take your statement. I will. It's my fault this has happened to her. No, it's not. You know exactly who's to blame. That vile man behind bars or whoever is pulling his strings. Go there, find out what he knows, and get to the bottom of this. It's too late for Joseph, but maybe she still has a chance. Well, I'm sure as hell not gonna wait here for her to rot away. Good. She'll be safe with me. All right, then. I'm off. Grandma is going to look after Eileen. All right, time to go interrogate people. Back to the incense bags. This has gotten really intense. Like, I kind hey, of suspected back. him of being suspicious. Hi. I am. You guys want my statement? Yeah, the sheriff is waiting for you. All right. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. Huh? Let's talk, sheriff. And that's when I found that creep with her tied up in the crypt. Jesus. I had my suspicions about that church, but I never thought it went this deep. Yeah. So, what happens now? I'll call the judge and get a warrant. Really? If we find anything else, that bastard won't get away with it. Okay, can I go talk to him? Go ahead. Ask Lenny to go with you if you need him. Will do. Thanks, Sheriff. Think nothing of it. Nah, Lenny doesn't even come with me. I got this. Nothing more, but I need to figure out what he knows. <sighs> Hello again, my child. I hope you enjoy that cell as much as I did. For a man of faith, this is a room fit for a king. Speak what you will. I have all the time in the world. Did you have something Everything. to do with what happened to my grandfather? Alas, I did not. At the time, I wasn't enlightened, and neither was my father. Grandpa showed the same symptoms as Eileen. Then he was claimed by God without my guidance. Praise him. Oh my gosh. I hate this dude. He's so... Well, I hate that he got brainwashed. What do you really know about Lily Myers? Oh, the drowned girl is a conundrum. In life, part prophet, part mender. In death... Ascended, united with the holy conduit. Why did you have Lily Meyer's painting stolen? Because Charles Wade isn't a man keen on sharing. Ugh, fine. Let me put it this way. Why did you try to get your hands on the paintings? Lily was special in God's eyes. A chronicler, a bestower of wisdom. As an emissary of God, it was my duty to unlock the divine knowledge in her work for all of mankind. What is your church really about, Isaac? What are you trying to accomplish? The same as any other church. All we want is the salvation of mankind. By any means necessary? Clearly kidnapping isn't out of the question. A necessary evil. I look at the bigger picture, the greater good. One day you'll understand. You are quite obviously brainwashed. I'll stop you. 
if it's the last thing I do. You can try, child. I have God on my side. You have the devil on your side, buddy. Who is the man dressed in red? No one that concerns the likes of you. Wait, so you do know something about him? Certainly, but that knowledge is not to be shared with unbelievers. Uh, well, obviously I believe from what I've seen now. Well, I don't believe, but... Well, he's more interested than in me than he is in you. you Tell idiot. me what you did to my friend, Isaac. I offered her to God, and the Lord accepted her with open arms. She is part of his world now. You're not talking about a Christian God. Of course not. I'm talking about the old God, slumbering in the darkness beyond. What are you saying? You offered Eileen's soul to this God of yours? She is but one of many. I guided them all to the stairs of judgment. Wait, so you were responsible for all those people disappearing? Going crazy? All I did was bring them face to face with God. If they chose to reject him, they were beyond redemption. I'm done here. That Good. Now go repent, sinner. And go to hell. Also equally sinful sinner. Let's go back to the church. I have that key, so maybe I can go in here now. Um, key with tag. Find key with tag on the door. Nope, not the right key. Dang it! A small key with a tag there. attached, labeled Storage A5. Maybe there's a self-storage facility in town. It looks a lot like the key I found in the attic. Maybe they're somehow related. That is true. Uh, I doubt that it goes to that chest in there. So maybe we should go somewhere else? Like... Let's go to the, and, uh, think about the storage shed real quick. Uh. Okay, there's a place in town. Got the address, I should head over there. Alright, let's go. save Eileen, but hopefully I'll be able to do that. I don't want this character to go away, die, or whatever, or become like the grandpa for the rest of her life. I mean, she's a lot young. Wait a minute, I didn't tell- That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> I, like, she's a lot younger than our grandfather, so she'll have a longer life than just that. Doesn't fit. Must be for a different unit. That. This is the one we had the whole time, so I'm not sure. Doesn't fit. There's also something else. Ooh, yay, A custody appeal form for me? July 15th, 1981? I don't believe it. Oh my he gosh. He tried to get me back from my mom right to the very end.
pull yourself together, Kathy. Just some old newspapers in those. So that's where Grandpa's old uniform went. I wondered why I didn't see it in the attic. So that's where Grandpa... Let's turn it off and wait. I think I got everything right. So we have this. Let's combine it with this. And listen, shall we? No, we don't need a... No, we did it. That's not... No, that's not what I needed. Okay. This is Joseph Rain. Operation Log, Part 4. August 8th, 1981. The area appears to be circular with... Huh? ...along the outer perimeter. I've determined that some kind of endothermic reaction is taking place. So it's important to be observant of changes in temperature. Find the source by severing the link. Perhaps I can save them. Jimmy and all the others. Reoccurring dream. I'm standing in front of a huge black hole in a clearing in the woods. There's a man dressed in red urging me to jump. I'm afraid to, but I take the plunge anyway. For some reason, I don't think I have anything to lose. As I'm falling, I reach for the parachute cord, but to my horror, there's nothing there. That's when I wake up. So... I can't open it. Storage A5. And he was talking about... Trying to play no dirty trick. No, he, 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 we got it. Oh my gosh. Where is he? This might come in handy. He must not have wanted anyone to learn the secrets of these paintings. He must not have wanted. He must not have. He must not have. The secrets of the paintings, but I thought he said he was trying to. Expose something like the truth or something. I, I don't know. Okay. I think I'm gonna cut it here, guys. A lot has happened, and I'm very curious to know, but I have to go to work in like 30 minutes, so I should get this ready. Um. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day.